Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World here in Season 4. Going along with the seasonal quest, we in the previous episode saw Daichi Saito here perform some really nice magic while he is actually a samurai. And when we realized that he was truly strong, he actually wanted to fight with us. And it was a really, really good trial. Like, holy crap, I do hope that they are going to invest some time and actually make soul trials something you can repeat, put a prize behind it, and make it into multiple difficulties. That is definitely something I would look forward to doing. Grace O'Malley here doesn't really like him, but... He, he, he doesn't need to like her. I like her and I like the rest of my crew. And we're getting quite, quite a nice part here. Oh, and I almost forgot. Dog is here as well. Like I was at the end of the episode was like, we're missing a crew member. And now I see he's actually next to the liquor. So Grace, what do you have for me today? Let's see what our new recruit can do about getting us into that ice castle. So we can get the frost crown before Mordred. Problem is... There's a lot of water between the shoreline and that island. We'll need a way across. We can search the coast. Good idea. Bound to find some small fishing or supply boats that way. I'll meet you on the island with the others. Truth is, I'm tired of paperwork. And I'm more than a bit curious to see Saito's wizardry. I can imagine. And we're getting the King's Mercy. Vicious with thwarting trip. A trip of first attack hits target with active crit. The attack deals 29% more base damage. It's actually a pretty interesting perk. Because a lot of heavies have like 24-7 crit. So doing 29% more damage to them. It's actually pretty nice. Let's accept the quest. And I already know where this is going to lead us, guys. We're having two new fast travel points on the map. One is on top of the mountain here. With Mokash Spring Shrine. And then the other one that we had is the ice castle shrine over here now i already found my way up until the Makish spring shrine but i couldn't find my way to this one and then some people told me like it's part of the seasonal quest so you're gonna need to do that quest to actually be able to go there and that's exactly what we're gonna check out now so we do have an additional like structures now here on the map like a little bit of a settlement that got destroyed and then a couple houses that still remain with some Varangians, of course, as well. The uh, winter kind of Varangians, the frozen kind. And then, yeah, we got the pirate ship there that is part of uh, Atlas. And usually when you actually do complete Atlas run, you go to the ship. And then from the ship you go to, there's like one more boss over here on the map. But this is usually an empty beach. So now we can actually see that it, there are a couple of changes here. Now I've been trying to get to that island. And I've actually been drowning myself a lot. To try and get to the island. There was no way to get to the island without the quest. So apparently we need to use the boat. And fast travel with the boat. And we can use the boat to exit the island as well I presume. But now that we have the fast travel point here, I don't think we need to use the boat ever again. So yeah, this is how you actually get to this island and actually get to the fast travel shrine over here. So let's see. I am telling you, it is hopeless. The gate is solid ice. Then we burn I it down. I all my strength and could not make a single scratch. There is nothing... <laughs> <laughs> I weakened it for you. It <laughs> I'm sure I saw cracks in the ice after I struck it. <laughs> oh, this is... I love that, dude. And enter. It does seem like search for a way into the castle keep to find the frost crown. So this does seem like a complete village. Uh, wolves that turn into ice wolf, winter night scouts. We're just gonna bypass all of them. I'm gonna look into the. Uh, we need to use the castle wall, and I think if we go down here, we can do exactly that. 
think. Can we hopscotch onto this wall here? We can. And then we go over, right? No, this is an invisible. Okay, so we got some a little bit of a parkouring to do. Oh, and we need to be fast about it. Oh my god. Dude, stop interrupting me. I was trying to do some parkouring. Yeah, okay. So you cannot... <laughs> That's actually interesting. That's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. I'm wondering if we can use the big floater to jump on there and then onto the islands. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we can. Oh, come on! Seriously? I was missing one jump. Okay, wait, Queen, uh, you go after me. Or go before me. I just tried it. Are you gonna go or not? Go, 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 go. You see how I do it? <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Let's wait a little bit again. Oh, come on. Yeah, you need to walk it. I think, I think you can't jump it. If you jump it, you basically fall off. Go, 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 go. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, come on. How can I not get on that? Hmm. See, if you jump, you basically... You miss a step, right? Not yet. Not yet. I'm missing one. Here we go. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Jump. Jump. Yeah, made it. Made it. Hell yes. I knew it. You cannot jump. Well, you can cannot jump on the first one. Else you lose. And if you basically jump off the, like, the little iceberg on the iceberg below, you basically, you stop for like one second. And when you hit it, the motion to go into the next one. You see, the motion to go down from that rock is slowing you down and you'll never make it towards the other rock. Pretty cool though. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. A lot of people are gonna be stopped there. to not being able to get over. I'm gonna be pretty unlucky to actually get over there. That was, that was actually pretty fun. Okay, let's go up. <laughs> I can wait here all day, see people struggle. Like, holy crap, I'm definitely gonna do that. Like, if, I, if I'm watching a movie or something, <laughs> just log in and then just, uh, just stand here, watching other people struggle. Frozen rocks. Defeat the lost servants of the King Idris for a key to his inner keep. Okay. So we're looking for a drop. Castle keep. Okay. And we need to use that on that door over there. Stop slowing me. And that is another instance we're going in. Xander. Do I play chess? Do squirrels not taste of chicken? Wait, that is not true. Anyway, look at this board. The ogre is a rook. The spearmen are pawns. The corrupted priest is a bishop. The elk is a knight. And the maiden a queen. That's a weird setup. Any tips? Do not visit Brimstone Sons in the <laughs> summer. <laughs> but listen, in chess as in life, take what you want. Oh, that gem on the enemy king. I think it can fit into that pedestal by the exit and maybe unlock the door. Opa! Opa! <laughs> hmm. 
Well, the chest endgame to win the exit gem. So, that's a tower. That's the pawn. Select pawn. So, pawn can go one forward, meaning that this dude here can take him. Uh, that's the queen. And this is a rook. Rook can go sideways. Pawns only can go forward, but if I go forward, this one will get taken. The queen can go every direction, but if she goes left, she will be taken. So I think select queen. And capture knight with queen. And queen moves forward. Oh, but this was... Okay, so yeah, that's not that's not how you're supposed to do it. The board resets. Perhaps you made the wrong move. Okay, so it's not queen to. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, rook into knight. Take knight with rook. Then take queen with bishop. Okay, so then the tower can take the queen. So that's not it either. Hmm. Okay, recover the game that fell from the king's chest. I guess that was actually what I needed to do. Okay, nice. <laughs> I think I solved it without realizing that I solved it. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, I knew a couple pieces on the board were probably there for distraction. Search the castle for King Igrit and the Frost Crown. Okay. I didn't even realize that I fixed it. Or that I did it. Daichi? I know what you would ask, but I cannot free them. This is a powerful old magic. The cold. It has seeped like a poison into their souls. Like the fangs of a snake. Pulling them out may harm them in even a worse manner. I won't leave them like this. So be it. I will give you a special fire charm. An ofuda. I believe you have the ability to use it. You may be able to release them. But should you fail, I cannot speak of such horror. Okay. Rescue the captured explore. Rescue the captured uh, the imprisoned soldier. Soldier, explorer. I think one of the two is gonna fail. Okay, let's talk. What a fool I was to seek out the mysteries of a mad king. I've had decades to think on it, and I've decided. I'll be moving to Brimstone Sands. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a nice, painful sunburn. <laughs> okay. Uh, soldier? It seems it works with both of them. Then Mao. Did he just threaten me? <gasps> Thank the gods for sending you! That foul King Idris! If only I hadn't needed the coin, I'd have never have signed up. We all knew something was wrong, worse by the day, eating away at him. You could see it in his eyes. Okay, so holding the crown is more like a curse then. Sky? Just when I think I stopped being surprised by your abilities. You really do live up to your name. I do. The joy, the relief these poor prisoners must feel, all thanks to you. They'll need help to escape. And you may rely on us. We'll be sure they make free of this cursed place. Strength to your arm, and deliver a firm message from us to that vile King Idris, as you knock the frost crown from his head. Okay, seems my adventure here is not over yet. 
Enter the throne room to look for King Indris and the Frost Crown. Let's quickly check if there is anything else around here, guys. Does not really look like it. Don't see any chests. There is somebody fighting something over here. Let's open, blow up stuff. Smack and smack. And let's take the guitar music sheet because that is pretty important to pick up now. And that is going to be also covered in a later video. Let's go up top here. Because these are coming. Sadly enough, I had a box full and I threw them all away. So that was rather stupid of me. It seems like... He does have some damage to him, but not too much. No, he's not too difficult to beat. Way easier than the Soul Trial. And there we go. Dead as can be. Continue to search for the Frost Crown. The throne is a stockpile. Very nice. And behind here we find a note. Gone. It has us. Okay. And return to the castle gate to let the others know that Mordred has the crown. Fast travel, see where we are heading to. Dog is here, okay. So everybody actually came along. Morgane. Mordred took the crown from Idris? That makes my news all the worse. My fool son has indeed gotten into my research. There were once ancients, evil ones, who sought ways to imbue mortals with power akin to their own. So Mordred wants to become a god. Yes, a god of winter. To do this, he needs a Turnian, the ring, the crown, and the staff of Sawin. Binding them with the winter rune would make him into a monster and unleash calamity upon the world. An eternal frost. There, we must find the staff and rune? Before Mordred does. But your we must exclude me. He would not listen to reason were I to join you. The rune and the chamber are lost to legend, but I will light your path to the staff and the mage who found it. Okay. Talk to Grace O'Malley. She is here as well, right? Yeah, next to the campfire. Why is not everybody next to the campfire? All things considered, a job well done. But make no mistake, we're deep in the pickle brine now. We <laughs> messed this up and there'll be an unwelcome visitor having a nice long stay with us. And his name is Winter. And that is not welcoming indeed. Let's complete the quest here, guys. And end up this episode here. Let's sit around down like we always do. If you want to see more of my quest progression here in New World, guys, or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.